In lesson seven five, we're going to be multiplying mixed numbers by whole numbers. You'll need a sheet of paper, and if you have returned your whiteboard already, um, go ahead and just use a sheet of paper. Number one, two, and three, we're going to name all the multiples. So I'll do the first one for you. It says two, all the multiples of, of two up to 10 up to 10, so multiples of two up to 10. So for number one, I would say two, four, six, eight, and 10. Now, would you please write all the multiples of five up to 20, and all the multiples of 10 up to 50? Would you go ahead and pause your video and write these on your sheet of paper, or if you have a whiteboard? For number two, five, 10, 15, and 20. Multiples of 10 up to 50. 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. Would you write all the multiples of three up to 20? All of the multiples of four up to 30? And all the multiples of 6 up to 35. On your sheet of paper whiteboard, go ahead and pause the video and write the multiples. Remember to do this with me. Don't just watch it. Your fifth grade teacher next year is going to expect that you know multiples. So the more you review things, the more likely it is to stick in your brain. So the first Multiples of three up to 20 are three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21. Whoops, I didn't have to write that one. Multiples of four up to 30, four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. And the multiples of six up to 35, six times one is six, six times two is 12, Six times three is 18, six times four is 24, 30, and we can stop there. On your sheet of paper, let's go ahead and take this word problem. Last week, Tamika practiced the trumpet for two thirds of an hour each day. What was the total number of hours she practiced? So let's go ahead and write an equation. There are seven days in a week, so go ahead and write seven, multiplied by two-thirds of an hour each day. I'll put H for hours. So remember, what we're going to do is take the whole number times the numerator and write that all over the denominator of three. So seven times two is 14, and we keep thirds the same. We would say 14 thirds, but that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, so remember, this just means to divide. How many threes are in 14? How many fourth graders? There are four, and then multiply. Four times three is 12. Subtract, and we write our remainder as a fraction. The remainder goes on top. The divisor becomes the denominator. So she practiced for four and two thirds hours. Let's go ahead and move into our math journal. We're going to begin on page 240. Go ahead and open up that math journal to page 240. We're going to be solving number stories. Number one, each member of the flute section of the Briar Woods Elementary School Band practiced for two and three-fifths hours last week. There are five flute players. What is the total number of hours they practiced? And remember, you learned about band not too long ago, and you have the opportunity next year to join the band. So we're going to take the five fl flute players multiplied by the two and three-fifths hours, and we're going to say, I will say F, the variable for flute. First thing I'm going to do is to go ahead and solve this. I'm going to take the whole number times the whole number first. The 
The first way to do it is take the whole number times the whole number. So I'm going to take five times two, and then I'm gonna take the whole number five times the fraction and add that together. So then I would take five times three fifths. I'm gonna go ahead and solve each of the parentheses first. So five times two is 10, plus the whole number times the numerator all over five. So five times three is 15 fifths. And let's turn that into a whole number. How many fives are there in 15? Well, that's the same thing as the whole number three. So if I add together 10 plus three, I get 13 hours that they practice together. Another way to solve that would be to go ahead and change this mixed number, two and three fifths, into what we call an improper fraction. Now this is something you do not need to be secure in when we're done, but this is something that we will practice over time. So in order to turn this mixed number into an improper fraction, I take the denominator times the whole number and add in the numerator. So five times two is 10 plus three is 13, and we keep the denominator fifths. So 13 fifths is the same thing as two and three fifths. Let me just prove to you. Five goes into 13 twice. Five times two is 10. I write my remainder in the numerator position and my divisor is five. So it's the same thing. So if I wanted to solve it that way, I could take two and three fifths and turn it into an improper fraction, which is 13 fifths, and then multiply that by five. Five times 13, Five times three is 15, carry my one. Five times one is five, plus one is six. So 13, I took the whole number times the numerator, which is 65, and fifth stays the same. Now again, that doesn't make sense to say they practice 65 fifths of an hour. So I would say, how many fives are in 65? Five goes into six once. One times five is five. Subtract, that number is smaller than my divisor. Bring down my five. How many fives are in 15? There's three and there's no remainder. So the answer to this would be 13 hours. Now, in my opinion, this was much easier. Let's try another one together. Oh, let's go back. We have some questions to answer about that. How many minutes is that? Well, we better go over here on the side of your math journal. Would you please take 60? And remember, we have 13 hours, so we're going to multiply that by 13. Great opportunity for us to practice multi-digit multiplication because I think some of you still are working on being secure in this skill. So go ahead on the side. You have plenty of white paper on the side of your math journal there to take 60 times 13. So we're going to begin with the three. The three is going to be multiplied by each number in the top. So zero, three times zero is zero. Three times six is 18. Put in your happy zero. Now we're going to take the one times each of the numbers up above, one times the zero, and then the one times the six. So one times zero is zero, and one times six is six. Now we go ahead and add those two numbers up together. Seven hundred eighty minutes. Whoa, now we have to figure out how many seconds that is. Here we go again. Now we have to take minutes, which is 780 minutes, times 60 seconds in a minute. 
Okay, we can do this. Are you ready? Here we go, same thing. We're going to take the zero times each of the numbers above. Zero times zero is zero. Zero times eight is zero. Zero times seven is zero. Now put in the happy zero. Now the six is going to be multiplied by each number above. The ones place, the tens place, and the hundreds place. So six times zero is zero. Six times eight is 48. Put down your eight and carry your four over to the hundreds place. Six times seven is 42. 42 plus four is 46. Go ahead and add all of those numbers up. How many seconds is that? 46,800. Now, moving into problem number two and three. Number two, I am going to go ahead and multiply the whole number times the whole number first, and then the whole number times the fraction. So I'm going to start with three times three, which is nine, plus three times two tenths, three times two is six, and I keep tenths the same. So I add those together, I get nine and six tenths. And for number three, I'm going to multiply the two times the whole number and then two times the fraction. So I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. Two times seven, and then I'm gonna add that together with the whole number, two times seven tenths. So two times seven is 14. Two, the whole number two times seven is 14 tenths, which is the same as one and four tenths. You know why? Because how many times does 10 go into 14? Once with a remainder of four. So I'm gonna add that one to the 14 to get 15 and four tenths. I believe on Schoology it said page 241, but that is all we're going to do for the video today.